These two are at it again. They're up to something, these two, Harry and Meghan. What are you up to? You two spoiled rich brats. What are you up to now? So breaking news. Prince Harry and Meghan paparazzi car chase was not near catastrophic, the New York Police Department officials suggest. Well, there was news earlier on that they were being chased down the streets. They were being chased down the, then there was like a, a high speed chase down New York Street. <laughs> Driving around the streets of New York, being chased down, high-speed car chased, both of them on some Fast and Furious type shit. That was what the spokesperson said. And they were, they were scared for their life, and, you know, it's a bit reminiscent of what happened to his mom and all that stuff and in Paris that night that led to Princess Diana's untimely demise. Like, why would you even want to bring something like that for clout? These people are such attention whores. This Harry and his husband, there's so there's so much of a glutton for attention. It's pathetic. So the taxi driver who picked them up had said, I don't think I would call it a chase, but added that the couple were quiet and seemed scared as they sat in the back of his car for around 10 minutes. So this spokesperson said, their spoke, spokesperson, uh, Harry and his wife, spoke spokesperson, or rather his husband, said it's, it was a chase for like two hours. Like a high-speed chase. Who was chasing them? Some armed people trying to take their lives some, on some uh, Agent 47 type stuff? No. Paparazzis with cameras. Oh. All right. How dangerous can they be with their flash? And their ring lights <laughs> and their microphones. Oh my lord! His father's just been coronated. They can't. They can't stand to not have the attention, the spotlight on themselves. And this news report here, they keep calling them the successes, the Duchess. This, the, 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 the titles have been stripped away from them. Like I could give a damn about the royal family and all that crap, but uh, I like. I like to regard myself as a bit of a man's advocate. And it's it's really sad seeing this guy go down like this, man. Dealing with a modern woman. You have to be very careful, man. Only a modern woman like Meghan Markle can turn a prince back into a frog. Like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my God. Ashley Hansen. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's press secretary made the couple's distress clear. She told Sky News, I have never experienced their vulnerability as much as I did last night. They were incredibly scared and shaken up. There were several times where the car stopped and security got out. There were instances where the police confronted the paparazzi and, ha and asked them to stop or give them space to do this safely. Unfortunately, that wish was not respected. But the taxi driver who picked up Harry and Meghan and her mother, Doria Ragland, outside the precinct, precinct around 15 minutes after the group arrived, said photographers uh, tried to take photos and capture videos during their short time in his car. Sakan Subrash told the Washington Post, I don't think I would call it a chase. I never felt like I was in danger. Hmm. It wasn't like a car chase in a movie. Harry and Meghan were quiet and seemed scared, but it's New York. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's painting a different picture. Harry and Meghan just like to blow everything out of proportion. Just to make themselves seem... Always trying to make themselves the center of attention. There are people like that. People are always wanting the spotlight on them. You have friends that when you tell them a story, they try to tell you an even bigger story. You just tell someone, oh man, I just stubbed my toe. It hurts like crazy. And then your friend's like, oh man, you see what I did to my toe last week. I, my whole toe nearly came off. They're always trying to one up. <laughs> His father has just been crowned. Now he's going around like some bunch of assassins just try to take him out. Come on, man. Anybody care about you? 
I don't even care what the fuck am I doing this story for? Oh god, I'm fucking bored.